Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Here we are finding the integers, positive integers value of x, y, and z. Here x is less than y, less than z. From here we have 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power y, then plus 2 raised to power z equals to 200. And uh, from here we can multiply the left hand side there by 2 raised to power x and also divide it by 2 raised to power x. So we have not, you know, done anything special because this will still be 1. Then we can rewrite it and this will be 2 raised to power x into bracket. Take this one inside and this will be 2 raised to power x divided by 2 raised to power x then plus 2 raised to power y divided by 2 raised to power x then plus 2 raised to power z divided by 2 raised to power x so we have taken this inside then equals to 200 and uh, in the next step <coughs> we can rewrite this and this will be 2 raised to power x into bracket this become 1 then plus 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power x and here we can factor this number that is we have the prime factor of 200 we can do it and this will be 2 raised to power 3 times 25 and that's 8 times 25 so that will give us 200 and from here when we compare 2 raised to power x with 2 raised to power 3 and we compare 1 plus 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power x with 25 then from here x will be equal to 3 then on this side we take one to this side and we substitute the value of x here so this will now become 2 raised to power y then divided by 2 raised to power 3 because x is now 3 then plus 2 raised to power z divided by 2 raised to power 3 equals to here we have 25 then minus 1 this becomes 24 and of course we have 2 raised to power 3 that's 8 so here we can bring it together and see we have 8 as the SCM here then this becomes 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z which is equal to 24 and by the time we cross multiply from here we can write this and this will become 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z that will give us 24 multiplied by 8 so we have cross multiply from here and also on this side we can also multiply the left hand side by 2 raised to power y and also divide by 2 raised to power y such that when we take this in this will become 2 raised to power y into bracket 2 raised to power y divided by 2 raised to power y then plus 2 raised to power z divided by 2 raised to power y then equals to 24 times 8 that gives us 192 and then in the next step we can divide this and this is 1 so we have 2 raised to power y into bracket 1 plus 2 raised to power z divided by 2 raised to power y and from here the prime factor of this as well that will give us 2 to the power of 6 then times 3 when we divide through by the prime factor and we put it in the index form so here we compare the we compare what we have there we can compare 2 raised to power y to 2 raised to power 6 and also we compare 1 plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power y to 3 and from here we have y to be equals to 3 6 
y equals to 6 from here. And also on this side, we take 1 to this side, and that will be 3 minus 1. And y is 6, so we now say from here we have 2 raised to power z. We have 2 raised to power z divided by 2 raised to power 6, which will be equals to 2, because 3 minus 1, that's 2. Then from here, we can cross multiply, and z will be given us from here. We have z, 2 raised to power z, rather, will be equals to 2 raised to power 1 is here, that's 2 raised to power 1 times 2 raised to power 6 when we cross multiply from there and since same base multiply we add the power and we have 2 raised to power z equals to 2 raised to power 7 1 plus 6 that's 7 and z from here will be equals to 7 so now we say the conclusion from here we have x equals to 3 we have x equals to 3 we have y to be equals to 6 and z to be equals to 7. We can check from what we are given to confirm if this solution satisfies the problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class and bye for now.